All right, hello everyone. Hope you're having a great start or end to your day. Welcome to The Talent Show, where you'll meet the people that power T-Tech. I'm Rebecca and will be your host for today's show. We are so grateful that you're joining us today, taking some time uh, to jump into a great conversation that we have ahead for you. It is February. I am here for it. <laughs> we are celebrating Black History Month here in the United States and in Canada, and our Champions of Color Employee Resource Group has some amazing uh, events and celebrations ahead, so we're excited about that. Be sure to join us in social to follow along with the conversation. If you're part of T-Tech, head over to the Champions of Color Teams chat, where they'll be dropping some information all month long on their Teams chat. And of course, head to their Mosaic space. They'll be ending the month with an amazing event on February 20th. So again, head over to their Mosaic space. But if you're not with T-Tech, that's okay. We're excited that you're here too. We're just fresh off a conversation with Laura Butler, our Chief People Officer. And during that conversation, we talked about thriving in 2024. So we want to continue to layer into that discussion and lean in with the power of mentorship. I'm personally excited about this topic because T-Tech has an amazing mentorship program where you can either become a mentor or a mentee. And I'm excited because for the past several years, I've had some amazing, talented mentees. And you know who you are. So shout out to you if you're listening here today. And our Champions of Color group really wanted to make sure that our message today was around empowerment and around the um, all of the great things that mentorship can bring to you in your career. I personally think it's an underutilized tool in our life stack and it's something that I hope you'll all walk away inspired to either become a mentor or become a mentee. Before we get to that, please be sure to drop in the chat where you are joining us from around the world. We love to see whether you're joining us from India, South Africa, Honduras, wherever it may be, we love to have that conversation here for you. So please feel free. Um, we'll, we'll meet you over in the chat every now and then. So as we get started with our conversation, today's guest is Ivory. She is a licensed insurance specialist in the United States, and she has an amazing story. I think you all in many, many ways can relate with. She has been through a transition in her career due to the pandemic, and I think her story is one of how to rise to the challenge, how to lean into the mentors along the way and build a new rewarding career. So without further ado, let's meet Ivory. Welcome, Ivory. Hello. Hello, everyone out there in the internet world. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> I love it. Yes, it is indeed the internet world, Ivory. We have <laughs> Ella joining us from Krakow, Angel Ooh. from Mexico, Smear awesome. Canada, Seth from Washington. So Hello. yeah, it is the internet world joining to hear your story here today, Ivory. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to yes. share. Yes, that's great. So Ivory, one of the things that we talked about was, um, you know, the career that you had for many, many, many years before you yeah. became a licensed agent. So would you share a little bit more with us your your journey to, to today? Yeah, absolutely. So um, my career path actually started out as a cook. At 14, I started working at our local stadium, and I have been in the kitchens all the way up until 2020 when the pandemic came. So during that time of the pandemic, my mom had this idea where we could all get licensed and maybe start our own, you know, insurance agency. But then when it got to the licensing process, I was the only one who followed through. So that idea had fell through. But now I have an insurance license. So someone gave me um, some information about how how they were working with T-Tech at one point. They weren't there anymore, but they gave me the information on how to apply. And I became a licensed agent with T-Tech uh, early in 2021. And that's where I've been ever since. 
Oh, that's awesome. I think that that is such an interesting career transition switch to go from making meals, uh, being in an active kitchen, and now really making yeah. it with all the consumers that you work with. What a, what a rewarding career uh, switch that you had. And mom, thank you. Thanks for encouraging Ivory to get the license. Yep, thank mom. She paid for it. She made sure that I followed through with it because she was really adamant there was something that she really wanted to do because she was retiring at the time. So that was the idea that she had. But when it came to testing and licensing, they were like, mm. <laughs> maybe not so much anymore. And I was like, well, I'll try it. I'll give it a try, you know. And I was supposed to write everybody's policy and do all this other stuff. But this is where I am. And it's been very, very rewarding. Kitchen mm-hmm. life is very fast paced and, you know, erratic <laughs> up and down. This has gave me like a complete and total work life balance and freed up some time to really focus on some hobbies and slow down. <laughs> I love it. In a fast paced world to to hear slow down is and I can't imagine that. Yeah, the kitchen's just nonstop. Um, yeah, it's crazy. But, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so during this transition, could you share with us a little bit more um, uh, again, you know, total 180 in your career. What um, were some of the mentors that you have met along the way to help you get to, you know, not only through a career transition, but to thriving in your career today? Uh, I can call them by name. Is that okay? <laughs> oh, <sure. laughs> yeah, Absolutely. Sure. Okay. So um, one for sure was uh, Goldie Castle. She was one of my first team leads and she was like, she was, she was just showing me all of the ins, the outs and the ropes of T-Tech, not just the project that I was working on, but just of T-Tech, you know, the commitment, the expectations and just really holding my hand and walking me through, um, I was actually, because I started out seasonal, so when I left the first project and came back, she was my time, she was my team lead again, and this time it was more helping, you know, get my soft skills and sales skills together, because in the kitchen, I don't need soft skills. I can throw things, I can yell, you know, you don't need soft skills in the kitchen. Matter of fact, it's the totally opposite. Now, customer care, I'm all, I was always good at, but you know, in the back of the house, we don't worry about stuff like that. But she was really, you know, um, helpful to making sure that uh, I, my soft skills develop as well as my sales skills, making sure that I was looking for those sales. And she encouraged me. She was like, you know what? One of these days you're going to be our top enroller because I was at the bottom of the stack when I first started out. And stack ranking and sales is so important that I found out. And I was at the bottom of the stack and I'm like, Goldie, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And she's like, you know, holding my hand, giving me tough love, lots of tough love and help me get through the way. And then from there, um, Ashley Holdren t- taught me how to have fun with the job, like make it fun. If you don't like what you're doing, then you're not going to do it well. And then um, Champions of Color definitely gave me um, a space to know that I was working somewhere that was inclusive because, you know, during these past few years, we've gone through a lot of different transitions with inclusion, diversity, and ethics, and making sure that people feel good in the spaces that they're occupying. And Champions of Color showed me like, okay, this is a place where I can be included. I can, you know, have, you know, have a space to really express myself and be around like-minded people and allies as well. I love all of the allyship and the inclusion that goes on at T-Tech. And then my most recent um, t- team lead for the uh, project that I'm on, um, Kiran Mayat, he helped me rise to the top and we completed Goldie's goal to make me top enroller. So for the last four months, I've been at the top of the stack, like number one at the top of the stack for the past four months, even during our busy season. So it was, it's all connected together. I took everything that I learned from all of the team leads now and with my new team lead, um, bringing all of that together, it, it, we reached the goal that we started in 2021 to become top enroller for a project. And that's what I've been doing. So, wow, yeah. I agree. Super cool story. Because <laughs> I, I think what I love about you sharing the, the various mentors that you've had and shout out to those mentors to, to help you get to where you are today. 
Um, but the the tough love, the soft skills, the you know, rounding out the edges and, mm -hmm. and inspiring you that yeah, you can go from you know, starting out in your career to the last four months leading um, and and getting the the awards that you've had. So really, really great. Um, thank you so much for sharing that story and and the power, like you said, of champions of color and becoming a part of a, a community. Um, I think it's great. I love that the Champions of Color also really um, wants to highlight the importance of, of mentorship. And I know you're in the informal mentorship programs, but could you talk with us a little bit more about kind of the, the call to action that Champions of Color has um, for, in particular, people here that are listening in from T-Tech? Yeah, so um, I'm kind of new to what's going on because I have expressed interest in getting into the mentorship program as well. But it looks like they have resigned, uh, redesigned Team Lead 101 to kind of call in more mentors and incorporate more of a group and a peer mentoring uh, program. Because even with the good team leads that I have had, I still had good team members as well to kind of help along the way. You get a team that has a mix of new people or people who have been tenured in the T-Tech for a long time. And when you have that mix with the right team lead, it kind of encourages you and kind of helps you pull each other. So um, just to kind of, they it looks like they've been redesigning the program to kind of help leaders over the next 90 day period to really just be able to incorporate group and peer mentorship. Um, it looks like they've also been working to create a mentoring guide for mentors to help guide them through talkers with their mentees because, you know, one thing that is very important, which is also becoming much more important over the past few years, is sensitivity. You know, sensitivity and making sure that we are not making people, this is a virtual space, so we all should feel included. <laughs> this is the internet world, so we all should feel included and in just making sure that they're giving out mentors, these guides to make sure that nobody is left behind. I mean, it sounds kind of cliche, but that is the goal. No one should be left behind. It's all about inclusion and diversity and just that mentorship, making sure that people get to where they need to be. I couldn't have did it without someone pulling on me and making sure that I get to where I need to be. And also just champions of color calling people across the organization that are interested in being a mentor to help guide leaders. I mean, if you, I know, I know, you know, dealing with people, I know I get a little scary. It can be kind of awkward. You don't want people to feel like you're telling them what to do. We're all adults here, you know, but that does not mean that we don't need mentors. We need help. You know, we all need a little bit of help to guide us along the way, whether you're new, whether you've been here for a while. So just making champions of color, it's really great that they're just uh, putting that guide out and helping leaders to be more successful into contributing to the development of other people, because that's what a leader should do. You're here to inspire and help develop others. So, yeah, I I agree, Ivory. And as I said at the the top of um, starting this conversation, is that I think mentorship is one of the most valuable tools, and yet the most underutilized tool mm. that that we have in our in our life stack of things that we can be doing to to grow and development. And heck, it is. Free. <laughs> it is free right. to go join. Like if you're part of T Tech and listening, it's free to join our, our mentorship program. There are people who, if you're like, hey, and they might be outside of your network, hey, I'm really looking for a mentor and leaning in. You know, you could also invest in a coach, but the mentorship program is really free, and it, the investment is your energy and your and your time. And it will pay dividends. So as you can right. see in your career, Ivory, from your mom saying, hey, let's do this licensed agent thing uh, to the, the many people that you just shouted out and, and what you're what you're getting as a part of the, the Champions of Color community too. Ella does say in our chat, Ivory, bravo. Uh, and she's joining us from Krakow. So she's part of that, ah. that <laughs> inclusive world. And uh, Demetrius uh, James is greeting from Athens. So hello. Dan, hello. <laughs> beautiful, I, beautiful, beautiful cities you all are, are uh, talking to us from. Maybe, and Athens right now seems a little warmer than um, perhaps Wisconsin is right now, I agree, where you're driving Absolutely. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's much warmer. <laughs> At least we got sun. I'll take that. We've been having sun for the past few days. 
but <laughs> I'm in Arizona, so I feel you on the sun. <laughs> oh, you got plenty of sun. Yeah. Share some sun. I'll send some your you way. Some to share. Yep. <laughs> Please do. <laughs> Before we wrap up our conversation, we do want to head over to the chat. So, everyone, we want to hear from you. Would you tag who has been an inspirational mentor in your life? Again, it can be someone in your family, it can be somebody that you worked with, maybe currently or in your past um, life and someone that really has helped you to make that leap um, in your life. And again, back to thriving, it could be in your wellness journey. It could be in your career development. Um, Ivory just uh, out loud tagged her people. <laughs> but Ivory maybe yep. after it comes And I'm not ashamed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they know. I tell them all the time how much I love them and thank you. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, um, everyone, as you're typing that in the chat, Chat, and thanks again for, for joining us. We want to have a little fun today. Ivory, as you can see, we have a global crowd joining us. And because you started your journey and, and most of your career has been in the kitchen, I, I must admit, I'm not a cook. I'm not. I'm, I can set a mean table. I can um, clean up with the best of them, but I'm not going to be cooking. And I think one of the most important things that we can do in life is really break bread um, with each other and sit down to a meal. So in the spirit of our virtual meal, would you give us a little insight into what's your favorite meal you'd prepare if all of us here today uh, descended upon your house? What, what are you cooking up in the kitchens of ivory? Well, since it's so cold here in Wisconsin, I would make us a nice island meal. So I would do jerk chicken, some beans and rice, some cabbage, and of course, some pineapple rum cake. My family calls it my rump and bum cake because they say it's just, it's the bomb. So they call it the rump and bum cake, but I would make it all for our global guests and make sure you invite me to Mexico, Krakow, and Canada, Georgia, Washington State, so I can try all of your different meals too. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. What time? I'm getting hungry. It's 10 o'clock. I'll be there in a few hours. <laughs> I know. Well, it's uh, well, it's about lunchtime, my time, so, so I won't be able really to whip hungry. up any jerk chicken, but I'll definitely try something. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Ivory. I know oh, absolutely. Um, you took Thank time you. out of your busy day. Um, you have a lot of people to make a difference in their lives through um, through your efforts. I know I'd want to be on the other end of that call um, under your guidance. So, Oh, I, really, I appreciate it. Thank you. Really, really heartfelt. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Ella also says, Deli, I think she's coming mm -hmm. over for a delicious. <laughs> of course, <laughs> Ella is invited. Of course. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. So thank you so much. Thanks for sharing um, your journey, inspiring us that really uh, a career, a, a, you can get a curveball in life, and then it's really how you rise to the occasion. And I'm really uh, excited for you and grateful that you shared your story here today. So, Ivory, thank you so much. Oh, no problem. And thank you for having me on. And all of you enjoy the rest of your day. I really enjoy talking to you. And greetings from Wisconsin in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. We'll talk soon. Bye bye. Thank bye. you. All right, everyone, we are not done yet. We just have a couple more minutes of things to share with you. If you like what you've heard today, come check out ttechjobs.com tour around, learn more about us. Ivory is a perfect example of one of the many, many team members that we have and their dedication to um, building a rewarding career, helping people along the way. And I love how she said, having fun in the job too. So um, one of the jobs that we have, again, one of hundreds um, that we'd like to spotlight today is Morgantown, um, which as I said, fun. This is a fun team. So check out their role in customer service. Um, it is full-time or part-time. So come on to ttechjobs.com. Look for jobs in your area. You just may be in Morgantown. I know we had a lot of people from around the world today. If you happen to be in Hyderabad, India, we're also looking for a network engineer 
to join that team. So many exciting things going on um, with Mumbai, Ahmedabad, and our Hyderabad team. So come check it out and see um, what might be available in your neck of the woods. Thank you so much to you all for joining us, for participating in our chat. Oh, Ella does say we also have great mentorship programs in Krakow. So uh, definitely, if you're part of our Krakow team, um, be sure to check that out. But thank you to each of you for joining us today, for participating in the chat. Um, have a great meal wherever, whatever time it may be in your neck of the woods. And thank you to our uh, producers, Smirti, Gabby, Dora, for um, making this a great kickoff to the year. If you've missed an episode, don't worry. You can find everything under our Tea Tech LinkedIn profile. Caring is sharing. So if you found today a value or you know somebody who could benefit from a mentorship program and a little, they need a little nudge, a little encouragement to either become a mentee or a mentor, be sure to tag and share this episode with them. Who knows? you just might be igniting their next career. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful day ahead. Appreciate you dropping in. See you back in two weeks.